Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here, and uh, today I'm um, showing you a video on the Achievement Pack King. Uh, so this requires you to open up 50 um, packs in FIFA Ultimate Team. This is for FIFA 13. So as you can see, I'm just showing you the achievement that I haven't got it. Pack King, open 50 FUT packs. The fastest way to do this is bronze packs. They cost 400 coins each, and... Um, yeah, you just basically go for that. If you do 400, um, well, if you do 400 uh, times uh, 50, it gives you 20k. So you should have 20k in there. I actually counted in this video 45 packs being open. Um, I know I opened um, two gold packs. One which was given to me from the. Um, manager things that you have to do at the beginning of the game. I got another gold one after finishing Division 1. Um, I opened up a bronze pack um, uh, once, just for fun. Um, and I must have opened two other packs. Um, I think there was a mini gold pack and another a given gold pack or something like that. So, long story short, um, I had five uh, packs which were opened before um, starting this process, but I didn't know that. At least I knew I'd done two or three, but just to be on the safe side, I had sixty, um, sorry, twenty k coins um, in my um, in my bank. Before you start this achievement, I highly suggest having an ultimate team uh, that you're satisfied with and that you're playing uh, regularly with. Um, I suggest this achievement to get it towards the end of all the other achievements that you want to get. Simply because if you start this towards the beginning, you'll just be um, playing games and you'll always have a bad team. Uh, in my case, I've spent probably over 150k, possibly 200k or something like that on, um, on players. Um, that's not only players, but you know, contracts, fitness stuff. Um, and all that, all that uh, good stuff. Um, obviously, I've earned all of the coins um, in game. I'm not one of those people which is going to pay money to um, to play um, to play a game. I, I think that defeats the purpose of the game. So, to earn coins, you just basically have to win seasons, um, tournaments, games. What I highly suggest is staying offline um, because online you'll often face people which are very very good but also with um, stupidly good teams um, so that's usually because they've just been playing offline and that's what I've been doing I've playing offline and when I play online it's a really it's not a breeze but I win most of my games simply because um, I've got a pretty much gold rated team um, and a good chemistry between them so yeah, that's that's my suggestion. Play offline. I highly suggest seasons. Um, if you play seasons, you get good bonus towards the end. Try the hardest uh, difficulty always in terms of the cup, the seasons cup to go for. And if you reach Division One, you get very hard games. You you play you know say Manchester United on Ultimate or uh, Real Madrid on Ultimate. They're really tough games. I've got to say it would really challenge your club. Um, I almost lost a few, put it that way. But it, they're really hard games. Um, However, if you win, you not only win 5,000, but you win a gold pack as well, which is always quite cool to have. Although the gold pack I got was pretty shit, to be honest. So um, that's my suggestion in terms of uh, what to do and um, how to get your coins. Uh, in terms of opening these packs, as you can see, it's quite a tedious process. Uh, basically, each time you get a pack... Um, you'll have duplicates, so as you can see I quick sell them, but also what I suggest is just pressing B um, or the circle button if you're on PlayStation just to save all to club um, and then you can sell them on later on. Um, my total club value rose uh, stupidly high, it went from 4.2 million to over 12 million in terms of all these cards I bought. Um, I did actually make quite a substantial money uh, amount of money back. I put quite a few things on the. Uh, I listed them. Uh, there's some which got over a thousand, uh, which I was surprised about. Uh, that was mainly the fitness stuff and things like that. But um, I gained quite quite a bit of money back, but not that much. Um, I I would say I recovered about 10k back um, from say five to 10k. I recovered in sales, uh, either from quick selling or listing the items. Usually from listing the items. That's where the money was at. So um, just thought to let you let you know about that, uh, which is quite good for me because I was saving up for Ever and Sanya on my ultimate team and um, I bought them after I got this achieve achievement pretty much uh, for reasonable t uh, prices on the market. 
Um, another thing you will see that my trade pile does get full and that's when you basically have to refresh um, and sell off some stuff and then so that you can add more stuff to the trade pile. Um, and so here is the achievement, so the video is now slowed down, purchase my uh, 45th pack um, in a row and there you go, I get the pack king for 50g, for 50 game score for opening 50 packs um, on FIFA Ultimate Team. So I was really happy to get this achievement because it's just something less on my mind. I've only got two achievements left and those two I don't think I'll probably achieve. One was um, getting um, a informed player in a pack, which I don't think I'm gonna get. I opened 50 pack bronze packs. I even checked if there was bronze players on the bench and there was in the uh, inform. Um, team of the week and I didn't get a single one so I don't think I'll ever get that one and the other one's the 85 million club value for that one you just need a lot a lot of play so I don't think I'll ever get those two but I'm quite happy um, with the achievements I've got 950 gamer score in pretty much two weeks pretty happy so there's my squad uh, left back and right back have changed to Evra and Sanya now hope you enjoyed this video guys take care bye bye